We're going to take this already super clean print and improve it even more by removing the seam with a little cheat. So stick around. Most of you have probably printed a vase and maybe you've used vase mode for that or spiralized outer contour already. Personally, I thought it was meant for vases or bowls or jugs, but what happens when we take something like this statue and print it with vase mode? Not everything is going to work just by selecting it. We need to use what we already know to have success and we want more than that. We want to have a better print than the last one. Now one key to success on this print is a perfect bond to the build plate. No lifting means better layer alignment and we can be confident that the print will stay where we want it until it's finished. I personally like using the glass. It stays completely flat regardless of the aluminum plate below. And I'll butter up that build plate for the best possible adhesion. Now let's activate spiralized outer contour and this is going to remove that seam. But this isn't a vase, so what do we need to do to have success on this print? Well, I print with a 0.6 millimeter nozzle, and that's not going to work in this case. The overhangs are too large. Now we need a larger nozzle to make this work, so I'm going to use a 1 millimeter nozzle. Now spiral prints are also very fast, and this is going to cause a problem with cooling. So we need to slow the print speed down, and make sure the fans are turned to full. Now lastly, we need a lot more cooling. The small fan isn't going to be enough, so I'm going to use a full-size room fan to cool the part a little bit better for overhangs. This part is being printed with the exact same filament as shown in the previous video. Now here's an example of the print when I use moist filament. This was left out for only two days and it had absorbed enough to cause this kind of terrible surface quality finish. This method isn't going to work for every print. Parts with sharp transitions will have rounded corners with the larger nozzle, and nearly horizontal areas will not be printed at all. This is just another tool in your arsenal of methods that you can apply when it works, and it might give you some other ideas. Now the one major flaw with this print is that the top remains open, so we can't really call this a complete success. But with this tiny adjustment, it's finished. Let me know what you think in the comments. Is this a method that you might use? And as always, if you can do better, please let us know. Again, thank you to my patrons for helping to make this video possible and future videos possible. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that bell. Take care, and we'll see you on the next one.